Hello everyone and welcome to State of the Game number 123 on the 5th of June. I can't believe it's already almost halfway through the year in its entirety. Anyway, like I said before in the intro, I am going to get through the hot topics and all of the news and all that headlines. I need to find a better title for this segment or what will become a segment, probably TLDR or something like that. Um, so just the notes for you before we get into the conversation with Frederick, the weapons guy. If you're here for that news, here it is. So, patch 3.1 went live on Monday and included a lot of fix for the NPC issues that we talked about with Drew in the previous state of the game. If you haven't caught that, you can check YouTube or the past broadcasts on Twitch or actually the podcast. I'll push the podcast for you as well. Um, all of the changes can also be found on the forum. The accuracy issues, which you may know as the bullet registration issues or perceived bullet registration issues, we'll talk about that in detail with Frederick soon. Um, they were reported on PS4 and other platforms when using the accuracy platform on the shooting range. That's important. We've investigated this and there is a specific issue that affects the shooting range, the shooting range, specifically the lane when you can measure accuracy. There's an issue where some bullets are basically blocked by the environment in that lane, which causes the accuracy to go down as these bullets then do not hit the targets. Okay, so you're not going crazy, there are, there are issues. We, in the shooting range. We have made sure to verify this is an issue only in the shooting range and can confirm this does not happen in other parts of the game. On all platforms. On all platforms. Um, and we'll talk about people asking if that's about the raid and that sort of thing. We'll get to that in a sec, uh, but no. No maintenance on Thursday, tomorrow. It's a Swedish public holiday, but there will be a possible maintenance on Friday, so stay tuned for Twitter updates on all of that. Uh, TU4 is now on the PTS. Um, the gunner is on the PTS, and we could, would appreciate if you could test it. There was an issue with the instant unlock of the specialization, um, but is that fixed now or soon? Soon. Soon. Uh, I've already seen a bunch of people testing it because they did the whole specialization journey. It's great that you tested it. Uh, I saw Nick Tew and uh, Streamer House and everyone were playing around with it, so super cool to see that in action. To unlock the gunner once it arrives on the live servers, though, um, you will uh, be spent on special field research. This can be tested on the PTS as well. Like I said, people have already done that. The year one pass owners as well will immediately unlock the gunner, but will also be able to do the special field research that unlocks unique cosmetic items. All right, speaking of weapons, Sweet. Frederick, Hi. weapons guy. Hey. How you doing? It's now, been a while. Now we get, exactly, we get into the discussion portion of the show. Hopefully all that news has sunk in. Mm -hmm. Sorry if it felt like I went through it really quick. Some people. Oh, we'll revisit some of these. Well, I think we'll revisit all yeah. of them probably mm -hmm. in, some, in some regards, um, but if all you wanted was quick news. Uh, that's it. And if you hate Frederick, you can leave. Aww. I don't know. Why would you, why do you hate fine. Frederick? So rude. Um, <laughs> How rude. So Frederick, for the people who haven't had the yeah. opportunity to see you on stream and all of that, uh, yeah. who are you and what do you do? So uh, my name is Frederick, Frederick Thailander. I work on weapons and RPG specializations, which we'll talk about today, and all the controls and movements and stuff. I'm a designer. Ah, you're a designer. Mm. Mm, okay. Um, how do you feel about the gunner now being visible? I think he's going to be great. And, and all of that. Yeah. It's, uh, how, do, how do you feel? Do you feel differently with the gunner compared to uh, the previous specializations? Because the way people yeah. experience it is different. Well, it's also, we made this when already knowing what a specialization would be and what it would mean for the game. So, like, it's a different thing to make a new specialization once you've already like made the feature of specializations. Not to overlook the changes to specializations in right. 4 and that sort of thing, which we'll go into yeah. details on very soon. Um, for people who haven't seen the gunner, I think we have a picture of it that we can We can at least bring at up the... In yeah. a sec. Um, we'll, uh, we'll dig that out in the, and bring it up in just a second. So for the people who don't know what we're talking about, yep. what is this gun that they talk about? Um, for those that maybe haven't reached the end game, for instance. Oh, that, they, yeah. that could be entirely true. Uh, what skills, weapons, skill tree, what are some of the things in there for the gunner that are unique and interesting? So the gunners is all about like sustained fire and this fantasy of standing out in the open with a big minigun. Right? Okay. So we made a fold-up minigun. We made sure that you get some cool talents that allow you to tank damage. We... Um, yes, uh, I would love to take a look at the photo of the gun. That would be really cool. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, let's do it. This that all, one, that's all, all that very one, last that one. That fine. is exactly the one. So I think this is the kind of the core yep. of 
what the specialization This is what around. you'll be lugging around. It's serious business. I really love, um, I watched it today on Nick's, Nick 2's stream mm -hmm. um, after he'd un unlocked it, which was a, an epic event in and of itself. And um, you would think the reload would be like some crazy belt that you'd have See, to See, the, the whole thing is just about this ability to stand and shoot for a long time um, with with this thing. It's mm -hmm. not about standing out in the open and reloading because this is our first instance of a heavy weapon. Mm -hmm. You can't shoot this from cover. You can't roll and sprint while this is out. This is a, this is a mm -hmm. heavy weapon, right? So we wanted it to just be something when, when you bring this out, that's a special moment where you just get to stand and spray bullets and so the reload is mercifully short on it actually. I, I did not expect the pump action just like <laughs> and then just Keep railing. going. <laughs> yeah, I know. It's, <laughs> it's, it's in, in service of the game. So another aspect is like, okay, so I'm, I'm there. I want to knock some people down with this continuous fire. So the skill is a new variant of the pulse mm -hmm. that does a, like a banshee scream or like a banshee pulse in a cone in front of you. Okay, hold up. Yep. Before we move on to the, oh, yeah. the next stuff, people notice in the screenshot 13.2k Oh yeah, but that's because damage. it's a thousand RPM as well. Like okay. this will do a lot of good damage. And th this was also screenshot taken at World Tier 1, so. Okay, and yeah. also this is on, what build was this on? This is, a, you this this is on your today computer. just on okay. my machine, so okay. I can't guarantee that all of the numbers are like accurate to end game. Okay, good to know. All right, so take, take this with a, a grain of salt. but. High but if RPM. you do find it lacking on the PTS, tell us. All right, yeah, exactly. So this is on the PTS. Uh, mm -hmm. that's, that's important to note. Uh, people who have experienced it, watched it, you know, played it themselves, now is the time to give feedback on it. Um, mm -hmm. I think it's really cool that we can put this up on the PTS before it's out live because yep. if we can, you know, do those final tweaks to make it extra special, <laughs> Absolutely. then, uh, then yeah. that's really cool. All right. I'll allow you to move on now. Right. So other pieces of the kit. Other pieces of the the gunner puzzle. So you reminder the, stuff. the specializations have a gun, uh, their own grenade type, which for this is a riot foam grenade. So you can mm. stick someone and then shoot them, mm -hmm. which is good. Uh, they have a this banshee skill, which like will cause the confuse status effect, which is normally associated with tear gas, right? Mm -hmm. uh, in a cone in front of them, even if things are behind cover. So NPCs will stand up and be confused and stuff like that. Uh, so that you can then mow them down. Okay. Uh, in PvP, it doesn't do confuse because that's frustrating. So it does sure. disrupt instead and like causes people to not be able to use their skills. So it's not quite as punishing in PvP. Okay, it's good to note the differences. Mm -hmm. yeah. the, um, is, there, what, what's the, is there an audio indicator for this happening? So when someone's about to launch it, you'll see the warning on the ground of the area where it will happen if you're in PvP. Okay. Um, because it has a little bit of a startup, mm -hmm. and you can also press and hold it to extend its range if you want to aim it and like hit people further away. And then you'll see that cone for longer if you're in PvP. But there's an element of it being telegraphed a bit. Yeah, it's definitely telegraphed. Only in PvP, does the AI pick up on it? The AI PvE? doesn't pick up on it. Right. They, they don't know what this is. This is new tech for DC, right? Like, they've never seen something like this. Interesting, okay, cool. Mm -hmm. No, I like that. It's cool to have um, that trade-off of what is, in some cases, I guess, a skill shot that you can make the trade-off of, you know, do I want to get it out nice and quick yep. or, Yep. Right. I'm going to be really interested to see uh, exactly how yep. that works. Uh, for the people that are asking about leaving PTS feedback, the forums are the best place. Yes, the official Ubisoft that. forums. Um, that's the best place for us to catalog things. I know people love to give their opinions in Twitch chat, and we mm. love it, uh, and also on but Twitter, and that's great. But for it's us, more to be transient. Able, it, it's transient. It's cool to get a good read. Mm. I love having those conversations on Twitter. It's really good to get, you know, a feeling for it. But there's not a lot we can do with a feeling. I mean, it helps, mm. but the stuff that really makes a difference is the concise, written... Good write-ups or videos. Sure, exactly. Yeah. Um, but the forums, and it's more, uh, you know, it will exist for longer. Yeah. Um, so we can go back through it. All right. Mm -hmm. Um, was it confirmed that we still have to do the challenges to unlock the new class in the PTS? We did talk about that before. Uh, right now, Right now true. on the PTS, you do have to do um, the special field research. You won't have to do that soon. Um, yes, stay tuned for that. But mm -hmm. it is intended that you'll be able to just try it out straight yep. away. Um, so we mentioned the, the Banshee, the Riot Foam Grenade. Mm -hmm. 
Um, it's got some cool talents as well. Mm -hmm. uh, I think we can bring up a, just a view of the tree. I think that could be fun. That could be cool. Because the tree, yeah, that's the one. Because the tree has changed for the other specializations as well. Mm -hmm. uh, I see down in the bottom left all the right, different Right, that's the big right? thing. So any specialization can pick any weapons to spec into. And, but they can't spec into all of them. So you're no longer bound to specific weapons with specific uh, specializations. We felt like it was inhibiting build creativity a little too much. Man, you're giving me more choices? More choices. Oh, dude. Um, so I, I think that'll be cool because some, things, <laughs> cool. some new builds will be uh, possible. You still see in the very d bottom left mm -hmm. that if you do spec into the weapon that we feel is associated with this spec, that's how you get the weapon mod unlocked. Interesting. Right? So there's still some flavor there, but it doesn't prohibit you from making, you know, an AR build with any spec. Okay, am I right to assume that for the sharpshooter tree, which I, yeah. I know best, to unlock that scope, you yeah. have to be... Yeah, on the marksman. Okay. Yeah. All right, good to know. So I, th I think that's a good middle, middle ground between keeping the flavor of it, but, it, like, opening up the meta for new builds. Okay. I saw some other things, because... Again, thanks, Nick, for going through the tree earlier on your stream. Oh, yeah, I saw the, that. Um, there's a few things in there that I found really interesting. There was some reload speed stuff. Right. Do you remember? On the it's... gunner? Yes. We have a, I think we have a screenshot of that, the coupler. Oh, okay. One? We'll take a look at that in a sec. Yeah. How, how does that so work it's all the, the theme. I think, that, uh, yeah, I think so. That is the coupler. Right. So the theme of this is just one example of the talents that you get on the mm -hmm. gunner. The theme of the gunner is spraying a lot of bullets, providing your team with ammo. So like the, the passive team benefit is that you actually grant ammo replenishment to your team by just mm -hmm. being in their team. So that everybody will get ammo. You'll get like reloads faster. It's all about it's all about lots and lots of bullets, right? Yeah. The the question is with this one. Mm -hmm. it, there's three tiers of it, mm -hmm. right? So it goes down to the third reload. That was the question. Yeah. Is it that you would go to 100% and then 50%? I mean 150%? No, it's, uh, it, increases, it decreases the cadence. So every third reload is faster Good. once it's maxed out. Thank you for clarifying that. Mm. Um, there was some, I'm now I'm trying to remember the tree myself. Oh, sorry. There was another one in there that I found interesting that I can't remember now. What else is in the tree? Uh, so there's one where if you're standing still, you get, uh, I think it's, we have a screenshot of that as well. Okay. But anyway, th when you're standing still, you get bonuses because it's all about like this big gun where you get to stand still and shoot, right? So it's, uh, it's about this heavy mechanic. Okay. That's not the couple. Um, Cody is asking in chat, can I reload my yes. SMG four times and yes. LMG on the fifth? Yes. Ooh, okay. Lots of theory crafting going in there. Yeah, if you, you can do fun things with it. My favorite stream, I don't know if you were watching Solid's stream last night I during the PTS yeah. mm -hmm. like Opening. wait time. Yeah, oh yeah, when before. Math with Solid was like my favorite, favorite stream that I've seen this week. Oh, nice. Um, Honestly, if you're not following Solid FPS and want to know you all should, the theory yeah. crafting behind the division in depth, mm -hmm. Solid FPS. He's going to have field day with the new tree then. Yes, because one of the things that is in the tree I remember now mm -hmm. is the special ammo for your group if you get a kill and you Without keep your finger on the, the trigger, right? Yeah, so I mean, every spec has some talent that grants SIG ammo to the group, mm -hmm. which will, will be a segue to the how we've changed SIG ammo drops as well. Mm -hmm. uh, and this one is keeping your trigger down. Like if you get two kills with a trigger down without releasing the trigger, mm -hmm. you're going to drop SIG ammo for your group. You but it's not going to drop SIG ammo, it's going to increase mm -hmm. the new SIG ammo meter that we'll talk about in a second. Okay, cool, because I don't know about this yet. Yes. Um, the I'm assuming that you, do you need to be, how does it work with kill crediting? Do you need to get the, fill, the killing blow? Or is it, do you need to participate in the so, kill up to a point? Actually, I think if we could put up, I know it's a low res screenshot, the ammo bar, just as, okay. as a visual aid while we're talking. This one? Yeah, maybe the next one, because it has, it's filled a little bit. Okay. Uh, no, the previous one, that's more <laughs> legible. Yeah, okay, okay, great. So next to your, uh, you see the little bar next to the O5, mm -hmm. uh, the vertical bar? Yes. That fills as you kill things or proc these talents, everything that we associate with signature ammo from the trees traditionally. On all specializations? On all specializations have this. This is a new way to get signature ammo 
we recognized that it wasn't fun to not understand when it was going to drop, how often it was going to drop, what you had to do. Mm -hmm. So we revamped it completely. When this bar is full, your next kill will drop signature ammo for you. No drops. What? I mean, but, but like there's no drops in the way that we know now? There's no random drops. When this bar is full, okay. it will drop signature ammo for you. Right. This bar is filled when you kill things, when your groupmates kill things, when your groupmates proc their, uh, you know, the talents that are in the tree, or when you proc your talent, like, you know, sharpshooter needs to do headshots. But it will still physically drop in the world and you have to pick it up. Yeah, yeah, okay, it will. Good. But the Continue. point here is that you have this meter and you know exactly when it's going to happen, you see how fast it fills, you can see when your groupmates affect your the pace at which you get signature ammo, uh, no longer RNG behind the scenes, very predictable, very like gamified, if you will. Okay, can we talk about the buff to the uh, Tech 50? Yeah, we can. So like the tree you saw and everything is part of, we can't release a new spec that is as good as it can be mm -hmm. without updating the other specs. So that's why the sure. other specs got the tree changes. We know that the Tech 50 didn't live up to some of the sniper builds that were out there, so why ever switch to it? Uh, now it will. Like, it just buffed the damage quite substantially. Um, same with the uh, crossbow. It didn't crack armor, like, reliably mm -hmm. on heavies when you were in a group. So we kind of fixed, tried to fix that as well. Okay, cool. So that will be more reliable to crack an armor, the armor piece that you hit on uh, NPCs. Okay. I also said we have a question in here uh, from Pog Angel. Will you fix the pulse skill threat uh, messaging blocking crosshair? Don't know which error that is. Like, I don't have insight into all the flaws uh, okay. that get re re yeah, fixed. We'll have to ask the UI team about that. We'll one. have to ask the UI team. I mean, that seems annoying. So, why don't you hopefully. Know, why don't you know, why don't I know everything? everything? Yeah. yeah. Go fix that. Useless, Frederick. But Useless. in summary, I think like we have a new spec that's going to be awesome. Lots yeah. of fun, highly thematic, right? Yeah. But we've also done updates to the other specs to make to bring them in line yeah. and make the signature ammo acquisition a lot more fun as well. So I think I think in overall it's a good package. Cool, nice recap. Um, I also think it's worth noting. I don't want anyone to think that I took these screenshots. It was me. Sorry, just at my <laughs> machine and the lowest resolution because I was hurrying for state of the game. Sorry. Right. Yeah, uh, but that being said, we want to make sure that you have the most up to date things. So there you go. Sometimes these things will happen, and uh, it's better to have screenshots than uh, to not. Um, can we talk just quickly uh, mm -hmm. about mod changes and skill balance? I know right. that there are other people working on those, but what do you know about that? So uh, gear mods, mm -hmm. right? Uh, we knew that there was this flaw that the generic mods that exist at low level, and some people have even found them at high level, yeah. they fit into all the slots so that naturally everybody used damage mods in all the slots, even mm -hmm. though they were low. So you had to make a level 19 character and farm and all of that. And that's not fun. So we made generic slots just fit generic, m generic mods just fit generic slots. So they won't, don't work anymore on high-end gear. Okay. And we know that's disappointing to some, like it was unintended behavior, but like to sort of compensate for that, now it's a like-for-like like system. If your mod is red, it fits in a red socket. No more system or protocol division of, of slot types. Well, that's quite a big change. It is a big change, but it sort of compensates, because now you can take you know, your weapon damage mods and put them in any red slot, mm. and the system protocol thing doesn't exist anymore. So that's going to sort of open up the... It's a bit more streamlined bit. as well. It's a little bit more streamlined, easier to understand, more visual. Um, we think it's for the better. Um, kind of makes it makes up a little bit for what you lose in those old blue mods as well. So it's on the PTS now? Yep. Okay. Good. So feedback on these things is always yep. appreciated on the forums. Uh, skills balance. Again. Right. This is something we're working on that yeah. we're not seeing so much on T4. Mm -hmm. um, but we've stated publicly that we're working on this. Our intent is to make sure skill builds our goal is to make sure skill builds are mm -hmm. as awesome as weapon builds or tanky builds. All right, um, we'll have to do another state of the game on all of that stuff yeah. soon when we can go in depth with the right people on it. Um, I think so it's good that people know that we're working towards I that so goal. I, that's just fine. Cool. All right, great. Um, and I know that this is more of a redstone question, but mm -hmm. there were changes to the dark zone as well. Mm -hmm. How much do you know about those? Well, I knew they were working on adding Rogue to the occupied dark zone, mm -hmm. and <laughs> yesterday I saw that that was added to the patch notes of the PTS. Okay. So, yeah, there's non-toggle, as far as I know, Rogue. 
in the okay. Occupied Dark Zone with like, I think it's like infinite manhunt. Like you can go up to 50 manhunt or mm. something like that. So it's a different type of rogue, like. So vanilla rogue. Vanilla rogue, okay. old school rogue system. Yeah, yep. so you can, I mean, if anyone remembers back, maybe you weren't around for Division One. basically some people might like get tricky with their line of sight and, and mm -hmm. you know, force you to, you know, shoot them, but this is a... Yeah, uh, someone's saying that the Tech 50 is still garbage on the PTS. Yeah. Yes, that is true. The PTS build doesn't have the buff to the uh, Tech 50. I'm sorry about that. Okay. It was a late buff to it. So whoever uh, Stygian Games who's pointing mm -hmm. that out, you're absolutely correct. It's still right. low on the PTS. Well, uh, to be fair, Stygian said currently on the PTS the Tech 50 is still a POS. Which yeah. Which means piece point of, of point of sales. Which <coughs> means no, it means piece of shit. Yeah. So we're aware, uh, but that's uh, that's exactly what Thank we are trying that. to fix. Cool. Um, that's what I use. So I'm excited to hear that. Mm. Um, all right. What are the? Are there any other things that you can tell us about? I mean, maybe not that are on the PTS, mm. but um, what you're kind of playing around with at the moment. I th mm. Without going into, uh, yeah, I mean, it's in, it's interesting because you see some people who have I noticed have some things on the PTS that are coming, like maybe some exotic stuff and whatnot. But we're constantly working on new content. But the big push we're doing on our team is making sure that skill builds become fun and viable. So that's going to be ongoing for a while. Hold up, if it's on the PTS mm? and people have seen it, mm? I'm, I'm saying it, I saw people see a uh, blueprint for exotic knee pads on the PTS. So exotic gear. I mean, if it's there, it's... Yep. I don't know if anybody's okay. equipped it yet, but it's there. If it's there, that means it might be coming into the yep. game. There have been times when things have been on the PTS and they have... That's been an accident? Sure. To be, I remember for the Division 1, what was it that got into the PTS that oh, we were like, I can't remember. I'm sorry! It was one of, it was one of the weapons. Yeah, maybe. Was it? But but this is intended to to get into the game, and people have seen it, so it's like we'd be silly not to acknowledge that that's a thing that's coming. I feel like it was the MG5. Maybe that was Maybe. like we were like they were like there's a new gun, and we we're yeah. like ah uh, that wasn't meant yeah. to be in there. Uh, there's a question from Alpen Vibes. Mm. What about um, can we just have a look at that full mm. question? Sorry, we we have to adjust a few things. What, merciless, mer merciless hitting mm. uh, for. Circa 2K on the first shot instead of 30K per shot. What's that with I, Merciless? I don't know. I mean, I was watching people playing mer good Merciless explosive damage builds yesterday mm -hmm. on live. So, I mean, Merciless does hit low, and then you're supposed to build up the primer and the detonating shots, and that's, mm -hmm. like, what makes up its damage. So I think... I, I'm not sure about the numbers, but that sounds intentional. Like, it doesn't hit hard on the first shot, right? It's, uh, it's, uh, you're okay. meant to hit the primers and then the detonators. Was right? it meant to be 2K or 20K? Anyway, um, we'll, we'll take a look, but it's, as far as we know, working as intended. Yeah, I mean, I see people doing really efficient builds with it. Cool. Oh, damn, dude. We're, we're kind of almost oh, we're, running out of time. Yeah, cool. I, yeah, all right. No, this, is, this is fun, though. All right. Uh, I tried to get as much information out of you mm -hmm. as I could. Is there anything else you can sneak in that isn't going to get me in trouble? No. But I can sneak things in and get you in trouble instead. <laughs> sure. Thanks. No, uh, I, think, I, I think in general uh, we're really looking forward to just to the feedback on the gunner. And yeah. there's some more tweaks coming, like PTS is the build that we had, and there's been obviously changes since, so like keep the feedback coming. On that, mm -hmm. when people get onto the PTS and mm -hmm. they do eventually get the unlock of the gunner straight yep. away, will they still have to grind out all of the specialization points or uh, no, are we giving uh, them everything to I start? think the intent for the PTS is to have full points. Okay. Uh, all the specs actually have 165 points now, so there's also okay. five more points for everybody to grind on all of their specs cool. in TU4. All right, cool. Uh, someone <laughs> Murph say, make Frederick angry. I try. Yeah. It's a, uh, it's too hot. It's, uh, it's not that I don't get angry. It's that you can't make people angry. That's the problem. Are you don't <laughs> don't challenge me on that. Um, the, the thing is, I mean, I can push Frederick as much as I want. If he says the wrong thing, I feel like you're probably going to get fired before I do. Ooh, I ouch! We'll see. Let's, let's not go for that. Let's not even try. Right. Um, thank you yeah, very much. It's been um, great. Please stick around because we have some agent highlights and all of that stuff. Cool. And please. Please, if you are interested, not if you are interested, I don't care if you're interested. <laughs> go play the PTS whether you're interested yeah, or not. Do it. Uh, we want your feedback. Uh, if you can't play it, go and watch it. Um, and even if you don't feedback, do play it because we also get data from seeing uh, what people do. Cool. All right. So for the agent highlights for this week, we want to congratulate some of our winners for the month. 
let's start off with, uh, actually the prize is the law book. Is it? Why are you angry? You didn't bring it. Ella was freaking out behind the camera. But no. So the winners of this month will receive the Division Law Book. It's super pretty, and uh, if you haven't seen it, you, you're missing out. Um, but, sorry, we don't have it right here. But the winners, the winners. So the agent highlights winners of that for this month. Um, let's bring up those. Yay, Slow Penguin cosplay, and also uh, Kingle G4. If you were not around over the past few weeks, you will have missed these. Frederick, Look at that setup. I know. So, it's did gorgeous. you watch last week when no. this was on? No, so, I missed it. You know, you see the chair. Yeah. I, originally, and I said this last week. I was like, oh, he's reupholstered a chair, which is really uh, mm -hmm. impressive. But no. No, no, he made the chair. He made it. <laughs> yeah. Oh man. And, and, the and the table. All of it. Jesus. Um, Make one for me. Yeah. No. Mm. Slow penguins uh, been killing it on the cosplay side of things as well. And I mentioned being a. Uh, Professional makeup artist and photographer seems to be working that, out pretty well. <laughs> that's that's going to be an advantage because that looks awesome. So, so cool. Really impressive. I can't wait to see more of that. So congratulations. Uh, we'll be getting in touch with you and making sure we get the law book out to you as mm. soon as we can. But for people who don't have as much makeup as some people, <laughs> or as me, <laughs> anyway, um, the Division 2 uh, photo mode is another way that you can win prizes. So for this month, uh, we picked a couple of awesome images. Let's take a, a quick look at those. We have uh, X Pacer X and Virtual Visuals. The composition of these, wow. 10 out of 10. So cool. The rule of thirds in that first one, mm -hmm. just nailed it. Love the lights. Um, and also just, the, I really love uh, X Pacer's one, the composition of that. Yeah, and the flag in the background. Super unique. Mm. Um, you don't, yeah, that's just really smart. Mm. Well done. Well done on that. We uh, hadn't seen any other ones like that in the submission, so great job. This week, so for the next uh, competition that we will be running uh, for the following, well, for this coming month, we have uh, three new um, ones to show you. Let's take a look at this month's agent highlights. So the first one, and this was actually shared on Twitter the other day, Cam Berger, um, very cool. Love it. Yeah, love the use of the Phoenix as well. You don't yeah. see it much. Does, is anyone, we should, we should add that to the merch store, like a Phoenix hair clip. Mm. That'd be great. Yeah. I would be very, very happy of it. All right. Uh, the next one we have is uh, someone that, you know, will be very familiar to a lot of people who have been around the division community oh. for a long time. Matt is killing it even more. Well, that's with, one of the new masks with the, as well. uh, the cosplay. New Hunter masks, new Hunter cosplay, doggo. Doggo. Extra points for Doggo. Mm -hmm. he, it's, uh, I mean, it's unrealistic because he's petting the dog, right? Yes. Yeah. Um, if anyone has actually managed to see uh, my Fei Lao cosplay, it's actually a little bit uh, wrong to call it my Fei Lao cosplay because Matt actually made it. Right. I remember when you received that. That's yeah. fantastic. He, he hand-stitched all of the, like, the, the vest and everything. Mm -hmm. I think it's currently my profile picture on Twitter as well. So if you're like, oh, Hamish made it's a really amazing. good cosplay. I didn't do shit. I just put some <laughs> coffee on it and like... That was that was all I did. Oh, don't underestimate what weathering does. That's great. Yeah, but I mean, I can't claim any of mm. it. Um, but anyway, so Matt, you're uh, fantastic as well. We have one more from, uh, I think this one is from Mike the Brick Guy, who will have seen before oh. as well. More oh, of different the goggles. Yes. That is cool. Yeah. Have you been doing any Lego recently? Oh, man. Uh, yeah. Really? Yes. Yeah. The like expensive houses that you can buy, like the the, the for uh, for adults Lego sets. Oh, for adults Lego sets. Yeah, yeah. All right. So erotic Lego. <laughs> <laughs> Keep making the uh, same joke every week. It's fantastic. That's, that's um, good. All right. Uh, awesome entries this uh, mm. this month or well, this week actually, because there's going to be more coming next week um, again. Thank you very much for joining me for a conversation about all of these things. We could talk for a long time about these things, but... Yeah, yeah. Um, I really want to... got some stuff. Yeah. Promise me that next time I manage to get you on that we'll hook up a build and you can show us oh, stuff Oh man, that live. would be great. Yeah? If we could do that, yeah, absolutely. Be, you, Maybe you're, even you're show some it? behind the scenes gym stuff, like our... Yeah. 
Yeah, that would be great. All right, I really want you to take us through all of the logic behind these changes and mm -hmm. what they actually mean. So we'll try and do as much of that live in the future That'd as possible. That'd be cool. But uh, future, future things. We're mm. constantly trying to make this show better and you guys are trying to make the game better. So yeah. keep doing it. Cool. All right, thanks very much everyone for tuning in to State of the Game this week. We'll see you again, unless there's a public holiday. No, there's no public no, holiday next not week. not next week. Oh, it's it's been for two weeks, but I not know, next week. It's been week. making these yeah. working weeks really annoying actually because I don't have time to get all my stuff done. All right, but we're back again next week. Usual time, usual place, and all of that. No maintenance tomorrow. Maybe a maintenance on Friday. Go play the PTS. If you don't, that's cool too. Feedback is great. Play as much as you can. Give us the numbers and all of that, because we want to make the game better. All yep. right. Cool. See you again next week. Bye, everyone.